أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الكريم محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أهلا وسهلا مرحبا بكم إلى قناة معكم أخوكم أبو جندل Dear brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome again to my channel. With you is your brother Abu Jandal. Today, inshallah, we are going to continue with our Arabic learning book, the Medina Arabic course, also known as Durus Lugat al Arabiya, the Guiding Ataki Nabiha. Um, today we are going to continue with Adarus al Thamin, that is lesson eight. In our last lesson, we have completed Adarus al Adarus al Sabi. The lesson seven, where we discussed extensively the um, demonstrative pronouns Asmaul Ishara, Lil Qarib, Walil Ba'id. That is the demonstrative pronoun for both the um, proximal and also the distal demonstrative pronouns and also the differentiation in terms of the gender. Today we're going to be looking at Adarus Thamim, that is lesson eight. And basically, we are going to be learning the following. Number one, in this lesson, we'll learn how to say this man or this boy or this book. Previously, what we have learned right from the beginning of the book was this is a boy. This is a book. Today, we want to learn how to say, you know, there is differences between boy. this is a boy and this boy. So we are going to learn this in this chapter and also we're also going to be learning or revising what we have learned of um, the genitive case of nouns those um, rules or those things which affect the noun and change it from this nominative case of dumma to current case of. we also learn two more um the roof two more ways which also change um the nouns to case or to its um genitive case even though these words are not holo for year, as we know before pre prepositions, and these words are khalfa and also amama. Amama in front of and khalfa behind. So quickly let's dive into this lesson and I, I implore you to pay maximum attention, inshallah. At Darus Samin lesson eight. Hada Rajulu Tajirun. This man is a trader. Wadhalika rajulu, and that man, Tabibun, is a doctor. What is different between this and what we have learned earlier? What we learned earlier was, Hadha rajulun, this is a man. This is a man. This is a complete sentence. Hadha rajulun, this is a man. However, here when we say, Hadha rajulu, if we say, Hadha rajulu, this man, this cannot be a complete sentence until you add something else to qualify or an attribute to give an information about the man. But when you say this is a man, that is a full statement. This is a man. This is a man. This is a woman. So you cannot say hada rajilu and stop there. Something is required. And that is why we say tajirun, a trader. Hada rajilu tajirun. This man is a trader. Wazalika Rajilu and that man is a doctor Tabibun. Ismu Tajiri Mahmudun. The trader's name is Mahmud. Wasmu Tabibi Sa'idun and the doctor's name is Sa'id. We can see also this what we have learned previously. The Hamdatul Wasl, the um, Hamza we see in front of the word Ismu, where we now make us to pronounce as Ismu because it begins the sentence. However, when we come to when we come to wasmu, we say wasmu not wa ismu because the hamza is appearing in the middle of a word. So hadha al baytu li tajiri wa dhalik al baytu li tabibi. This house is for the trader. Wa dhalik al baytu li tabibi and that house is for the doctor. Baytu tajiri amam al masjidi. The trader's house, Amam al Masjidi, is in front of the mosque. Amam, Amam al Masjidi. I see the word Amama changes the word al Masjidu to al Masjidi. Wabaytu Tabibi Khalf al Madrasati. And the doctor's house is behind the school. Khalf al Madrasati. Khalf al. 
madrasati behind the house. So these two words, amama and khalfa, when they appear before a noun, they change the noun from its nominative case to genitive case carrying kisro. That's what you can see, al masjidi, al madrasati. Let's focus, let's continue. Liman hadihi sayyaratu wa liman tilk. Whose car is this? For whom is this car? Who owns this car? Who does this car belong to? Liman hadihi sayyaro. To whom does this car belong? Waliman tilk. And who owns that? Liman hadihi sayyaro to waliman tilk. Hadihi sayyaro to litabibi. This car is for the doctor. Litabibi. Watilka litajiri. And that is for the trader. هذه السيارة من اليابان. This car is from Japan. وتلك من أمريكا. And that is from America. هذه السيارة من اليابان. وتلك من أمريكا. So this is the um this is the um the passage we have to read today. And afterwards we have Tamari exercises. We have few exercises to to provide answers for. And as I've already said. Make sure as you join me now, you still redo the exercises by yourself, and this will better your understanding and to grant you the ability to be able to think more, and this way it will stick better to your brain. We ask a lot of our sisters. The first instruction says, Ajib Anil Asilatil Atiya. Answer the following questions. Number one, Man Hadha Rajulu or Man Dhalika Rajulu. Who is this man and who is that man? Number two, okay, let's provide the answer to this. Man, who is this man and who is that man? From the passage, we know this man is the, 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 um, the trader and that man is the doctor. So we say, this man is a trader. And that man is a doctor. So you can use it, we can say, هذا الرجل Baniyun, this man is rich. Wadhalika rajulu fakiru, and that man is poor. Number two, Masmu Tajiru. Masmu Tajiru. What is the trader's name? And we saw here that the trader's name is what? Ismu Tajiri Mahmud. The trader's name is Mahmud. You can say Ismu Tajiri Hamidu. Wasmu Tabibi. The second or the third one, Masmu Tabibi. What is the doctor's name? Ismu Tabibi Ahmadu. The, the doctor's name is Ahmad. Number four, Min Aina Sayyaratu Tabibi. Where is the doctor's car from? We can say Sayyaratu Tabibi Min Al Yabani. Sayyaratu Tabibi Min Al Yabani. The doctor's um, car is from Japan. Then, man, my mean, aina sayyar to tajiri. Where is the trader's car from? You can say the trader's car is from Hind. Sayyar to tajiri min al Hindi. The trader's car is from India. Or you choose any country of your choice. Number six, we have aina bay to tajiri. Where is the trader's house? You can say bay to tajiri. Amamal Madrasati. But from the first passage, we saw Beitu Tajiri Amamal Masjidi. The, the, uh, the trader's house is in front of the mosque. Then, lastly, Aina Beitu Tabibi, where is the doctor's house? And the doctor's house, we say Beitu Tabibi, the doctor's house, Khalfal Madrasati, is behind the school. Exercise number two, Ikra, walk to read and write. We have to read this following and write them. We can see all of the following, you hardly see the harakat, that is the tashkilat, the diacritic signs. So we have to read it because you have already learned the laws. From here, you will start learning how to read books, Arabic books, without the harakat or the tashkilat. So let's begin. Hadhal waladu. Khalidun, this boy is Khalid. Wadhalikal waladu Muhammadun, and that boy is Muhammad. Hadha rajulu mudarrisun, this man is a teacher. Wadhalikal rajulu muhandisun, and that man is an engineer. Hadha al kitabu jadidun, this book is new. 
وَذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ قَدِيمٌ And that book is old. Number, number four. هَذِهِ السَّيَّارَةُ لِعَلِيٍ This car is for Ali. وَذَلِكَ لِخَالِدٍ And that is for Khalid. Notice the way I'm reading it. Read it gently until you perfect it and can read it fluently better and faster. Because now as you're reading, you need to note down the changes occurring in the ending of each word depending on what comes before it. We have هذا الباب مفتوح وذلك الباب مغلق This door is opened and that door is closed. Next, لمن هذه الساعة Whose watch is this? To whom does this watch belong? Here, li Abbasin. It is for Abbas. Next, number seven, Ahad al Baytul Tabibi. Is this house for the doctor? La, no. Huwa lil Mudarris. It is for the teacher. Eight, Ahad al Daraja to Libn al Muazzini. Ahadihi daraja tu libni al-mu'adhini You can see libni Lam already changes the word ibnu to bni So after the lam we have the hamdat al Which is not pronounced so we say libni al-mu'adhini Coming as the mudafun ilayhi Naam, yes Number nine Man hadha al-walad Who is this boy? He is a student from China. He is a student from China. Now, from what we have learned a moment ago, how do you say he is the student from China? Now we say who are Ali Bun Minal Hind. He is a student from China. If you want to say he is the student from China, you say who are Ali Bun with the Alif and Lam article. Who are Ali Bun Minal Hind? He is the student from China. Called the Alif and Lam article is the definite article, while a word carrying the tanwin, as we have always mentioned, is the indefinite article. May Allah make it easy for us. Number ten, Azalik al to Jadidun is that house new? La huwa qadimun jiddan. No, it is very new. Huwa qadimun jiddan. It is very new. Sorry, it is very old. Number 11, هذه السيارة من الياباني وتلك من أمريكا This house is from Japan and that is from America Lastly, هذا السكين من ألمانيا هذا السكين من ألمانيا This knife is from Germany وتلك الملعقة من إنكلترا And that spoon is from England We can see um, exercise number three. Ikra il mithal la ikra il mithal al ati thumma hawil il jumal al ati ya mithla. Read the following examples, then change the following to look like the previous example. So, an example has been given to us. We are to read this example and also form the, the common um, sentences to look like them. Example is this Hadha kitabun. This is a book. And Hazal Kitab, this book, the Muhammadin, is for Muhammad. This is the example. Our own word here we have Hadha Tabibun. This is a doctor. So we say, and we have Dash Minal Hind. So we say Hadha Tabibu with the Alif and Lamati now. Hadha Tabibu Minal Hindi. This is the doctor from India. Sorry, this doctor, this what? Doctor, have a This doctor, Minal Hind, is from India. Number two, we have, Hadihi Sayyaratun, this is a car. I will say, Hadihi Sayyaratun, this car. Lil Mudiri is for the principal. Next, Thalika Waladun, this is a boy. So we say, Thalika Waladun. That boy. Thalika waladun. That is a boy. So we are going to say Thalika waladu. That boy. Ibn al is the teacher's son. Next we have Tilka Sa'atun. That is a watch. We can see Tilka, not Thalika, because Sa'atun is Ismun in Asma'il 
unsa nam so it is considered to be a mas a feminine name and the ta on marboto so we say tilka sa atun tilka sa atun that is a watch so we say tilka sa tilka sa atun that watch means Suisra is from Switzerland that word is from Switzerland next we have a the baitun this is a house so we say hadal baitu lil muhandisi this house is for the engineer number 6 hadha qalamun this is a pen so we say hadha qalamun li abbas that this pen is for abbas next we have hadha rajulun dhalika rajulun that is a man so we say dhalika rajulun that man muazzin is a muazzin a call to prayer next we have hadhihi baydatun this is an egg so we say hadhihi baydatun this egg kabiratun is big next hadha mindilun this is an handkerchief this is a handkerchief so we say hadhihi mindilu wasikhun this handkerchief is that is lastly number 10 hadhihi hakibatun this is a bag so we say hadhihi hakibatu this bag lil mudarrisi is for the teacher exercise number 4 the instruction says iqra al mithal al ati thumma kawwin as'ilatan wa ajwibatan mithla read the following examples then read the following examples then form a question and an, form questions and answers the like of the example so this example below, we, a question has been formed. We will see a question here and also the response to the question. So the following, on beneath it, under here, we are going to see some images and also words in brackets. We have to use the help, with the help of these images and the, and the words, form um, questions, the like of what we have seen above, and also answer using these names. Can we begin? Yes. Number one, we have... The, the Mithal example says, Liman had al kitab. Who owns this book? To whom does this book belong to? Who is the owner of this book? And the answer is, Had al kitab. This book, Li Muhammad, it's for Muhammad because the name Muhammad is in brackets. So, number one, we have the image of a pen. So, we say, Liman had al kalam. Who owns this pen? This pen belongs to who? So the answer would be, you can see in bracket we have a bus. Abbas. And this pen is for Abbas. Next we have key. So you say, Liman hadal miftah. The response would be, hadal miftahu li aliyin. Next we have the image of a car. We say, Liman hadihi. Now not Liman hadihi because car is sayyaratun. So we say, Liman hadihi. Liman hadihi sayyaro. Whose car is this? And the response would be, this car belongs to the principal. Number four, this is a cow. So we say, Who owns this cow? The answer will be, This cow is for the farmer. Next, we have the image of a bag. So we say, Whose car is, whose bag is this? The response will be, this bag is for a teacher. And number six, Liman Hadal Corsiyu. Whose chair is this? We say Hadal Corsiyu Le Amarin. This chair belongs to Amar. Next, we have Liman Hadi Hidaja. Liman Hadi Hidaja. Whose hand is this? Say Hadi Hidaja to Libin Til Falahi is for the farmer's daughter. Next, we have. Liman hadi his sa'a, whose watch is this? The answer will be hadi his sa'a to libnil mudiri. This watch is for the principal son. Liman hadi al baytu, whose house is this? Hadi al baytu lit pabili. This house is for the doctor. And lastly, number 10, Liman hadi hil mil aqo, whose spoon is this? So we see hadi hil mil aqo to. Lil Talib is for the student. This one is for the student. Now moving on to Atamrin al Khamis, that is the fifth exercise. The instruction says, Ta'amal al Amthilat al Atiya. Ponder over the following examples. All these are just examples. We have to ponder over them to see if we can note anything, that if we can notice any changes, anything that is not clear to us, so we can explain. Let's go. The first word we have here on the first line is Al Baytu. The house, Felbeiti, in the house, of course, it should be Felbeiti because 
Al Baiti is now preceded by Al Baiti is now preceded by what fee? So it came to Kesro. The next is Min Al Baiti from the house, half a girl. And also Ilal Baiti to the house. So we can see originally we have Al Baitu, but because it is now being preceded by Fi, Min, and Ila, Al Baitu came to Al Baiti. That is half a girl coming before it. So it is now the major rule. Under it, we have Al Mustashfa. Then we have Fil Mustashfa. And we have Min Al Mustashfa. And we have Il Al Mustashfa. We can see here that the word Al Mustashfa was the same all through the following. The first we have Al Mustashfa in the, hus the hospital. Fil Mustashfa. Why don't we say Fil Mustashfi or Fil Mustashfa? The same Min Al Mustashfa. We do not say Min Al Mustashfi or Il Al Mustashfi. Why? We're going to learn this as we go ahead. But now just know that there are some words whose ending will not change even though changes, even though they are preceded by words which are supposed to change them. And al mustashfa is part of those words. We also have what we call al mamnomina sort of words that they will not change to kesro and they will not also carry tanwin. But now is not the time for us to learn it. As we move ahead, we will learn it, inshallah. But just know that words like al mustashfa it will remain al mustashfa all through, even though um, prepositions had for jar is coming before it. The next we have America. America, fi, America, min, America, Ila America. Fi America in America, from America to America. The word America also remains the same. America, 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 America. Why? Because this word is part of this word that will not change or is ending to Kesro. The next is Almania. We also have Almania. And um, this word, this is, this is some, sometimes particular to names of countries and even states. Do not change them. So Almania, we will learn this. Don't worry. Just know this is our level for now. Let's learn this and know that this, this words here, they are ending, will not change to Kesra, even though they are preceded by Harfajar. The next is Almania. See, Almania mean Almania, Ila Almania. Now, let's move on. A Quran work to where to read this and write. Read and write. Make sure you write it. Number one, Hada Tabibu min Iklantra. This doctor is from England. We can say mean, we do not say mean Iklantri. No, we do not say so because Iklantra is the name of the war of the country. So the next we have Zahaba Hamidun ila Faransa. Hamid went to France. So we don't say Faransi, no, Faransa. The next we have Mahmoudun Maridun. Mahmoud is sick. Who al ana fil mustashfa? He is in the um, hospital. So fi is coming while mustashfa still means al mustashfa, as we have learned earlier. And my father have Abdullah in Almania ila in Kletra. Um, Abdullah went from Almania, from uh, Germany to England. هذا الكتاب لعيسى. This book is for عيسى. وذلك الكتاب لموسى. That book is for موسى. We can also see that this هذا الكتاب لعيسى. Not لعيسى. No, say عيسى. When the Quran, you will see Allah say عيسى عيسى وعيسى بن مريم وعيسى وعيسى. Then وذلك الكتاب لموسى. The same goes for موسى. We could not say لموسى or لعيسى. These are names. We will learn this as, as we move ahead, inshallah. Don't know how to preempt the book. Lastly, we have had al Muhandisu in America. This engineer is from America. So, America, America. Next, we are to read also. Number one, as Saburatu Amama Tobibi. Note the word Amama. As Saburatu Amama Tobibi. The board is in front of the student. Wahia Khalf al Mudarisian is behind the teacher. We can see the word Amama and Khalf are coming and changing the noun after them to carrying Kesra in the genitive case. Number two, Aina Sayyaratul Mudaris. Where is the teacher's car? Here, Amama al Madrasati. Number three, Aina Baytul Imami. Where is the Imam's house? Baytul Imami Khalf al Masjid. The Imam's house is behind the mosque. Number four, Aina Jalasa Hamid. Where does Hamid sat? Or where did Hamid sat? We say, we say Jalasa Khalfa Mahmoud. He sat behind Mahmoud. Khalfa Mahmoud. And lastly, 
Zahaba Ammarun ila al-masjid. Ammar went to the mosque. Wa jalasa amam al-mihrab. Zahaba Ammarun ila al-masjid. Ammar went to the um, to the mosque. Wa jalasa amam al-mihrabi. And he sat in he sat in front of the mihrab. What is the mihrab? The mihrab is surely a recess. A place carved out of the mosque, part of the mosque, but carved and somehow um, go further than the mosque, whereby it shows the direction of the Qibla. We all have it in most of our mosques, whereby that's the place the Imam usually stands or close to that, the Imam usually face that. So it is to show the direction of the Qibla. So that is the end of this. So we have learned the word Amama and Khalfa. Al Kalimatul Yadida, new words. Al Mustashfa, the hospital. Almania, England. Um, Almania, Germany. Inclatera, Inclatera. That is England. Switzerland. That is Switzerland. Asikinu, knife. Then Faronsa, France. Amama, front. Then Holfa, back. With this, we come to the end of this lesson of the day, and we hope you have learned a lot from this. We, it is compulsory for us to revise in order not to forget the loss. As we move ahead, the loss may become cumbersome and much if you have not built the strong foundation. But if you have already been following and you have been able to walk yourself through the examples and the exercises again, even after we have done it together, it will help you so that as we move ahead, we will be able to join the knots and the points. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to use our first and to grant us better understanding. Um, importantly, we ask Allah to reward us for our intention of learning the Arabic, the, the uh, language of the Quran, until we meet again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.